Today I'm working on my 2008 E90. Symptoms are um, I can't uh, open my door. I lock the car. I can open the front door. Go for the back door. It won't unlock. What I can do is reach inside the car. Pull the handle once on the inside. Then I can unlock it. If I lock it, it will lock. If I unlock, it won't unlock. So I've already diagnosed this and found out that my actual uh, door actuator is bad. I bought a used one, which I'll show you right now. It's just a whole complete assembly. I bought it for 65 bucks on eBay. So there's, I've already found another video on YouTube showing you how to change out this mechanism. They go for like two something new. And you can buy them depending on what model specifically you're looking for. You can find them in the hundred and something dollar range, but you know, I'm just paying, looking for the cheapest fix. So it's a complete assembly. You got the whole latch um, and everything inter with the integrated door lock. So I'm going to show you what's involved in actually uh, changing out this entire mechanism on the back door. I don't think anybody showed this on the back of a sedan. So we'll start with the uh, start on the inside. One of the first steps is going to be to lower your sunshade if you have that. Not a lot of cars do, but that would get in your way because it clicks on here. You won't be able to pull the door handle off. <coughs> so, and then the next step is removing this trim piece here. You're going to want to stick a screwdriver in here. Just be a little bit gentle. It doesn't take a lot of pressure, so you don't have to worry about denting up your actual panel here. But just basically get underneath. Once you get the one side out, you can pretty much work the rest out by hand. Comes out. It's got these three zoom over here. You got these three tabs to get that in out of the way. You're gonna need to get this power window switch out of the way. Just wanna get underneath it. Like so, it pops up. And you can just lift it straight up. And there's just one plug here. That would get in your way. <coughs> Then there's three uh, Phillips screws I'll try to show you. Correction, it's actually, there's three uh, T20s. So I'm sure where they're located. Just gonna want a T20, Torx. First one. Second one's over here. And then you gotta get underneath this one, this piece here. So this just pops off, like that. Here's your last 220. Yeah. Once you 
have done that. You can only come in under the door panel somewhere. And I recommend you pry this way to kind of free the panel. You want to get at least one or two clips undone so you can get your hands be underneath it and then just slide it over and go around the panel. And if you've ever worked on a car before and pulled the door panel off in the past and just get far enough back here, you may be used to needing to have the window open and needing to lift up on this piece to clear this little overhang here. That's not the case on the BMW. You pretty much just pull straight back. clips up there. Alright. So then you're going to be left with this, which is your door panel connection, your door handle. So you just lift straight up over here and unclick. Then you're going to have your speaker wire right there. And I already pulled the power window switch plug off so it just fell through the hole. You can just set this aside now. Alright. This is what you'll be left with. What I recommend is so you gotta actually take about half of this off. You just slowly pull. Take your time. You'll find this stuff is reusable. You just gotta kind of like break the strands with your fingers. When you're done, it's gonna go right back into place. As long as you take your time pulling and break these strands up, you know you may get some on your fingers. But no big deal. get it to about that point. As long as you break up these strands and they'll be in the proper place for when you reassemble Just get a piece of tape and just hold it back. So just get a piece of tape like that. That way it's nice and out of your way while you work. And we can focus in on where we're going to be doing our work here. So, we use 2.30 and 2.30 for the, the major bolts that hold the mechanism in place. To start with, we can take this off. This just slides down. And then you just kind of lift it up. I'll get the light. Just lift it up off this hook here. Hit that. You can set it aside. Okay. Here is the harness for the actual power that powers the lock. Just keep that out of the way. There's this up here, right here. This is just a plug for the LED that lights up underneath the, the actual pull handle. So what you're gonna find, I'll show you on the new lock. Here. So this is how it's sitting in the car right now. There is a spot right down here and a spot over here where that harness for that light is taped into. So it kind of just tapes into this 
So you just basically gotta rip the tape on while you're inside the door panel here. Right there. And at the bottom. I'll show you. I already been inside here and had this off to diagnose this. But you see this blue tape here? You know, just be conscious that you can't just yank on this or you'll pull the you'll put too much strain on this harness over here. So I'll show you, I'll try my best to show you on the inside. Um, on this side of the door handle, on the inside, we have to take the door, the pull cable from the outside of the door off. So let me try to get set up on the inside here so if I can get you a view of inside the door panel. Okay, here we are on the inside. Not the best picture, but basically pull this out by hand. Okay. From the bottom side first. And then near the top, see the white plastic there? It kind of clicks in. So we can get this to focus. So right around at the top side, you gotta just basically pull off there as well. Pretty easy. So that's off. So now that, that won't get in the way when we're unscrewing the whole, the whole mechanism because that's the cable from the outside of the car. But what I did comment on is this harness here. You see that? That's normally taped right near the bottom and taped up there near the top. Taped to the actual lock mechanism. If you're careful, you can pry the push clips. I'll show you on the new one. So what I'm talking about is here, right? What they did is they just cut the tape off. But if you really wanted to, you can pry this out. It actually comes out right here. So you could actually pry it out of the lock assembly instead here and here if you wanted to and try to go about it that way. You can kind of see it's just like a push pin. It's not a big deal, honestly. You just, worst case, what I did after I did the last one is I zip tied to the here. Maybe I'll just, I actually got that um, proper tape, fiber tape that we used to rewrap that. I'll see how I, you know, probably not gonna end up doing that. But basically, oh yeah, one more step I wanna show you guys. Right here, this is your lock. Okay. This just pulls straight out. Like that. You got want you want to get that out of your way now. And if I were to unclip that one zip tie I have going for the let me see if I can just pull the hole. What I'm gonna try to do is just pry the whole uh you can kind of make out where, where I just uh, zip tied. Sticking the screwdriver here. I managed to get that out, I guess. So I'm free now to just unbolt it. <laughs> Improve on the lighting here. Hold on. Okay. Now we use a two thirty. Starting here. On the outside, you have these two.
So that's pretty much it at this point. We can just grab this whole mechanism. Nothing really to get in the way. Just watch this harness, this little one over here I was talking about. And that's it. It's out. Get ready for reinstallation. That um, plastic push pin right here. I pulled it out just so that uh, I can use the one that's already in my door. You'll probably want to do the same. You're going to leave these, try to pull them off inside the car and then leave them in there. So we're going to fish this back into place now, like this. snug, you know. So we'll just go back into here and just make our connections to start. <coughs> Tape let go. So to start, stick this guy in here. It's our power. Connecting our do interior door pull handle. It kind of just goes like this. Like that. Okay. And then you kind of pull down here a little bit. Let it guide itself into place. Your, your lock. So there's a little recess. Just match that recess and push. And then straight up, it's out of your way, ready to go. We can make this connection up here. from the top where it pushes into the metal up at the top right there and then after that it clicked 
click the bottom into place. Like that. Pretty easy. And as I was saying, I have this left over now. That's what pushes into the actual uh, plastic. So since I still have this and it survived. There we go. So I pushed that thing into place. It's held with a zip tie. It's clear of that cable and it won't interfere with its operation out of the way. And again, that's just the cable that runs the LEDs underneath your door handles, your welcome lights. So basically, that's how I'm handling that. And yeah, so that's that. So I'll set this tripod back up and I'll just show you the re reassembly. This piece here, you basically hold the handle from the outside in a closed position, just kind of lay it into place like that and push down. That's all you got to do. You want to connect your speaker, that's pretty self-explanatory, and you want to run your power window harness through the hole here. Just reach up and grab it from, from the other side of the panel. So you want to have that fished up through the actual panel. like so and then you want to make sure that you push the block through this like so and then you're going to start guiding it into place it's good to find about one or two holes by hand Push it all in place once you get everything right, you no longer 
here in this. All flush, ready for the screws. Just to be sure. Lock. Unlock. Good to go. switch, your power window switch, plug it in, clicks right into place, get your three D20s starting up here. These will ensure that when you pull this handle it uh, doesn't rip the door panel out. That just clicks in. This only goes one way. bad job put my uh, shades back in place so that's that look I had some butt uh, some of that sticky stuff left over you may find that after doing the job but it's not bad it just rolls up and gets out of your way so the reason this happens is there's a gear inside this that fails there's a little cam gear inside the actual gear that one side of it breaks off so you can still unlock so you can still lock but you can't unlock so I'll show you guys just real quick what happened on my just, uh, just pop the screws off I don't really care about this one anymore so I can show you what goes wrong you can kind of just see it here if you look right in there See if I can show this properly. Right there. So, at the back side, there's that little cam, that little thing that pops up. It's so hard to show it, but basically right there Let's see if I can turn into the light a bit so here's the cam on the actual gear where I'm touching right now is a little pop-up piece that's what actuates lock and on this other side here there's supposed to be that same piece that pops up right about here and that's what actuates on the inside and unlocks 
so that snapped off so it can actuate and lock but when it comes around there's nothing here to push the other way and unlock so it's basically cheap plastic that causes this failure so this thing only belongs in one place anyway thanks for watching let's say you repair your uh, rear door lock on an E90